The most distant human-made object is NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, which has remarkably traveled into interstellar space. This achievement is nothing short of extraordinary. Imagine the foresight and ambition involved in launching a spacecraft 45 years ago, never expecting it to venture so far. Voyager 1 has gone well beyond its originally intended destinations, exploring regions of space that scientists never thought it would reach. It has continued to operate far beyond its scheduled lifespan, which speaks to the incredible engineering behind this project. This spacecraft is part of a pioneering NASA mission that is reshaping our understanding of space exploration. What makes it even more impressive is that Voyager 1, despite being millions of miles away from Earth, is still able to communicate with us. It uses technology that is older than a cassette player, a stunning reminder of how far technology has come. But that's not all. In 1977, when the spacecraft was launched, no one could have anticipated the groundbreaking discoveries it would make decades later. Recently, Voyager 1 made a discovery that has shaken the scientific community and caught the attention of the world. What is this remarkable find in the distant reaches of space, and what does it mean for humanity? These are the questions scientists are grappling with as Voyager 1 continues its journey. The history of space exploration is marked by key moments, and one of the most significant was the launch of two incredible missions that opened up a new era of discovery. These missions owe their success to the brilliant work of Gary Flandreau, a scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Flandreau was able to map out an ideal route that would allow spacecraft to reach the outer planets of our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. What made his achievement so impressive was that he did it using only a pencil and a 20th century engineering tool, yet he uncovered a cosmic opportunity. During the late 1970s and early 1980s, the four giant planets were aligned in a rare celestial formation. This alignment created what can be described as a cosmic necklace, connecting Earth to the outer planets in a way that allowed spacecraft to hitch a ride on their gravitational pull. This phenomenon is known as a gravitational assist, where the gravity of one planet helps speed up the spacecraft as it moves toward the next planet. Thanks to this assist, a journey that would normally take 30 years could be completed in just 12. However, this unique alignment only happens once every 176 years, meaning there was a very narrow window for NASA to take advantage of this opportunity. Recognizing the importance of this moment, NASA acted quickly. Within just 15 days, they launched two identical spacecrafts, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, in the summer of 1977. Their goal was to take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime cosmic alignment. Little did they know that these two spacecrafts would go on to make history and set records for space missions that stand to this day. More than 45 years after their launch, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still functioning, sending back valuable data from the outer edges of our solar system. These spacecrafts have ventured farther than any other human-made object, surpassing expectations and breaking records. Originally, their mission was only supposed to last four years, but their journey has continued far beyond that. The longevity of the Voyager missions is a testament to the ingenuity of the scientists and engineers who designed them. These interstellar explorers have provided us with incredible insights, including some stunning close-up images of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These images reveal that these moons were far more active and dynamic than previously thought. For example, Voyager discovered active volcanoes and vast ice fields, which forever changed our understanding of these distant worlds. Voyager 2, in particular, made history by being the first spacecraft to approach Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. It became the only probe to study these planets up close and it surprised scientists with the unexpected and astonishing findings it uncovered in these previously unexplored regions of space. Today, these spacecrafts are more than 14 billion kilometers away from Earth. Despite their small size, each roughly the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, they have defied all expectations. They continue to send data back to Earth, expanding our knowledge of the universe. The Voyager's journey began with a groundbreaking maneuver known as a gravity assist. This technique allowed them to use the gravitational pull of Venus to gain speed on their way to Mercury. This had never been attempted by any spacecraft before, making them true pioneers of space exploration. As they traveled toward Jupiter, they had to cover a distance ten times greater than that between Earth and Mercury. Along the way, 
they passed through the dangerous asteroid belt, a challenge that had only been tackled by two earlier probes, Pioneer 10 and 11. But the dangers didn't stop there. With only 69 kilobytes of memory, a tiny fraction of what modern smartphones have, the onboard computers had to manage all the complexities of this extraordinary mission with minimal resources. The data collected by Voyager's instruments were stored on eight-track tape recorders before being transmitted back to Earth using a transmitter with only 23 watts of power, about the same amount of energy as a household light bulb. Communicating with Earth from such a great distance was another significant challenge. The spacecrafts were equipped with 12-foot-wide satellite dishes to maintain communication, and they used radio waves traveling at the speed of light to send and receive messages. However, the increasing distance between the Voyagers and Earth posed new difficulties. As they moved farther away, the time it took for signals to travel grew longer. By the time Voyager 2 had reached its most distant point, signals from it took more than 18 hours to reach Earth. To make matters worse, the background noise from radios, televisions, cell phones, and other devices made it even harder to pick up these faint signals. Despite these obstacles, the Voyager probes have continued to send back valuable information, and their discoveries have amazed astronomers. Their journey through the interstellar void has rewritten much of what we thought we knew about the cosmos, giving us a new perspective on the universe beyond our solar system. Beyond the familiar planets of our solar system lies a mysterious region known as the Oort Cloud. This vast area is home to countless comet-like objects, all held together by the sun's gravitational pull. It stretches out almost all the way to the nearest star, and while the voyagers are still moving toward this distant realm, it will be many years before they enter it. In the meantime, their entry into interstellar space has already begun. This milestone occurred when they crossed the heliopause, the boundary that separates our solar system from interstellar space. Scientists originally estimated that this boundary was about 50 astronomical units, the distance between Earth and the Sun, away from Earth. As the Voyager probes approached this point, NASA decided to continue funding their mission. When they finally crossed the heliopause, it didn't happen quite as expected. Scientists were surprised to find that the environment on the other side wasn't drastically different. The passage into interstellar space was supposed to bring with it an increase in the number of cosmic rays, high-energy particles traveling at nearly the speed of light, often produced by supernovae and other cosmic events. However, Many of these rays were still being deflected by the heliosphere, the magnetic shield generated by our sun that protects the solar system from external threats. The Voyager mission team closely monitored the spacecrafts as they entered the interstellar medium, an area filled with ionized gases and influenced by nearby stars. They expected to see a significant change in the orientation of the magnetic field in this new environment, but to their surprise, there was little difference. On August 25th, 2012, Voyager 1 officially crossed the heliopause and transmitted data back to Earth confirming an increase in plasma density. However, it did not detect the anticipated changes in the magnetic field. This was a puzzling result, as scientists had expected the transition from a region dominated by the sun's energy to one influenced by distant stars to bring about a noticeable change in the direction of the magnetic field. Despite these unexpected findings, the data from Voyager 1 continues to provide valuable insights into the nature of interstellar space, and the mission remains a source of wonder and discovery. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Voyager missions, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating content.